What's up budget builders and welcome back to the channel. Once again, we want to just let y'all know how much we do appreciate all the love and support on that Porsche rebuild and on the channel guys. Now I noticed some questions in the comment section on the past two videos about this little rabbit pickup truck and I'd like to give you guys the backstory on it and I'd like to bring you along with this rebuild as well. So I got in a call from this elderly lady telling me that her husband had passed away and that she heard from through word of mouth that I was into older Volkswagens and wanted to know if I wanted to come take a look at this thing and obviously I instantly fell in love with it. It's a, it's a 1980 uh, rabbit pickup. Uh, it's a deluxe Lago Blue with a 1.5 diesel and it's got 55,000 original miles. It's been sitting since about 1995 roughly. Uh, it's got an inspection sticker back here, which is the last year of inspection of South Carolina, but I did notice the these Michelin tires, and I'll show you here in just a second, are dated 1990 and they look like they were, they look brand new other than being dry rotted. And so I went and took a look at this truck. Like I said, I instantly fell in love with it. Uh, we were able to work out a deal. I ended up giving her $500 for it. Uh, along with that, I was able to buy a, a gas pump. Uh, didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I got it home and ended up listing it up for sale. And a collector came and bought her $500. At this point, I'm at ground zero on this thing. Uh, she was gonna, she was actually going to haul the truck off. And so I was able to go, go save this one as well. Uh, sounds repetitive, you know, but uh, it's kind of my, my price point, I guess you could say, is, uh, as a budget rebuilder with three kids that's what I can that's what I can afford and so I'd like to I'd like to bring you guys along with this rebuild and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, just as much as the Porsche I wish I'd been able to videotape this for you guys this was before I got into videotaping for YouTube <laughs> But uh, let me show you a little bit about this truck. Like I said before, there's those Michelins. You can see the tread is like brand new on them. Uh, they're like like brand new other than being dry rotted. Let me uh, get a little bit of surface rust, and which gives it a really cool patina, but there's no undercarriage rust. Uh, engine, be, engine bay is very solid. Uh, the interior door panels look brand new as well as that passenger seat. Uh, the driver's seat has seen a little bit of sun as well as the dash. You know how the interiors are on these little Volkswagens. And I apologize, guys. I am trying my best not to say, uh. <laughs> oh, bunk. Going down the side. Pretty clean little truck. Does uh, actually have the original tag from the dealership where this truck was bought. But, uh, 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 <laughs> let me show you guys the engine bay here. Oh. As you can see, it's a very clean, realistically very clean engine bay. Motor surprisingly pretty clean. Again, 55,000 miles. I've had these with 100,000 miles and they're completely black. And that's a diesel for you. <laughs> Uh, even the battery tray's pretty rust free. It's got a little bit of surface rust, but no major rust. Actually, even has the original battery cable still. I will say, I did go ahead and pull those jump over lines. I went ahead and pulled this main fuel line from there to there and pulled the uh, timing belt cover so we could take a look at that timing belt, make sure it was okay enough to, to fire this thing off. Uh, gonna get this thing running. Like I said, it's been sitting for 25 years. I'm gonna drain the fuel, put some fresh in it. Let's get these new lines on it. And we'll see, uh, we'll see if she'll fire off. I'm gonna go ahead and get this intake cover pulled off so we can see what we got to work with there. And of course, it had some friends living in it. I am not gonna worry about the return line just yet. But I do want to go ahead. All right guys, the first thing I wanna do is gonna get this fuel filter on here. Let's pour it out. Let's see what we're kind of working with fuel wise and go from there. Now 
I don't know if you can tell. There's a little bit of trash in the top. diesel it's actually really clean what's in there other than the trash that was in the bottom of my jar there but uh so we should be okay there now i do have a fram one here and what i want to do with that just for Extra lubrication purposes, we're going to fill this one with ATF, and, uh, and so that'll help lubricate the pump and the injectors when you first crank it up. It'll smoke like a sieve. Slip back on there, tighten up. All right, guys, it is the next day. We went ahead and pulled the truck out so we get some better access to it. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get the fuel lines put on this thing. It's a quarter inch fuel line to the injection pump. One thing I do is grab a grab a primer bulb from work and that allows me to fill the pump up without doing without wearing that starter out when we try to turn this thing over and uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that now and uh, see if we can get some fuel up to the injection pump doing here is I got this hard plastic line and I'm going to heat it up so we can slide it over the barbs on the injectors and then it'll create it when it dry when it uh, cools back down it'll be a nice tight fit. What we're gonna do now is uh, get that fuel tank, fuel tank drain. Let's see what we got in there. Uh, we got some new fuel lines back there. Six inches of fuel line back there, and we'll get some fresh diesel in this thing. Get it up to the pump and see if she'll run. I just want to show you guys really quick what kind of condition those rockers are in on this truck as well as those floorboards now yes this one does look a little nicer than the Porsche but won't be no thing you see those taillights look better than I got some stuff on them literally look brand new and that just has to you know that just goes with the mileage on the truck and uh 
So let's go ahead and and uh, and get this fuel tank drained out and see, see where we're going. Let me bring you guys down here so you can maybe see what we're working with under here. Oh, yep, that was dumb. All right, let's get something to run that into. Of course, I walked off with the flashlight. It appears to be mostly diesel. What? Maybe. This is a tail light, yeah, no. I just gotta get a headlight. <laughs> so I was told before the last time it got put up that it may have had a little bit of gas put in it. And, uh, but from the looks of it, it is mostly diesel. It might, there might be a little gas in there but I don't think it's gonna be enough to have caused any issues in that injection pump. But, time will tell. All right, let's go put a little bit of diesel in it. We'll shake it around a little bit and see what we got coming out. I am going to let's set the battery over in here really quick. Let's uh, let's make sure our fuel solenoids coming, our shutoff solenoids coming on. That is, other than fuel, that's the only thing that you, the only electronics you have to have to run this engine is that shutoff solenoid, just kind of like an old tractor. And uh, so what we'll do is get that battery, we'll check and see if that's working. Um, let's get some fuel up to the injection pump and try to fire her off. I'm taking that up. Okay. Got some lights going on. Let's, uh, let's see. All right, as you can see, 52, okay, it's 52,000. 52,556. And I wonder if the radio still works. I wonder if it doesn't. I wonder if that doesn't work either. I wonder if the hazards work. They're thinking about it. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. What was that? Started to set in a little bit. I gave up waiting, so I put a diesel can right there. That tank uh, decided to drain a little bit more, draining some goop out. So what I'll probably have to do is drop that tank and clean it. Uh, 
So, do you mind turning this key on for me really quick and let me see if the solenoid's working? You'll just have to cut it off and turn it right back on. Don't mind, please. Oh, cut it off yeah. and back on. Okay, it's not doing anything. All right, so that's your solenoid and it is not doing anything. So I'm gonna try to take the wire off and let's see if we can jump it out and get it to do anything. Ooh. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do here. injection pump full what we want what I what I've done is I've cracked all of these injection lines except for maybe one and those are 17 millimeter actually no they're not they're 16 millimeter that's so what I've done is I've cracked and we're gonna turn them over until we start seeing fuel and once we see fuel there, we'll close each one off as the fuel as the fuel comes up to it. Please, baby. I don't want you to get hurt. Can I put it? Where is it? Where is this? Did this go? Where did this go, Daddy? Where did this go, Daddy? Where did this go? That goes in the drawer. Where? Which drawer? Whichever which one you want to put it in. What I'm doing here is putting a little ATF in here trying to get it to maybe pop off that. See, baby, they're pretty.
Smoke it, smoke it. <laughs> 25 years. Woo, it's smoking. <laughs> Alright guys, there it is. 25 years, can't stop this little Volkswagen diesel. Thank you guys for following along. If you want to see more on this build, next time we pull it out, we're going to wash it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the timing build and some other maintenance things get that tank cleaned up so we can get it to where we can take it out for a drive. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this and the Porsche, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I just want to thank all of you guys so much for the 10,000 subscribers that we've been able to reach in just a short period of time and all the love and support that you guys have given to us. And I'll uh, see you guys. Uh, I'll have a video uh, probably Sunday on the Porsche again, and then, uh, and then I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you guys so much.